There's something magical that happens when people first learn about Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Many describe feeling a spark of recognition, as if remembering something they've always known deep inside. This special chant, which has changed countless lives across the centuries, holds within it the essence of the universe itself. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo might sound mysterious at first, but its power is actually quite simple. These words contain the truth that every single person has unlimited potential for goodness and wisdom within them. It's like having a precious jewel in your pocket that you forgot was there. When you chant these words, you're reminding yourself of your own inner treasure. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote in a letter to one of his followers, when you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, you should remember that it is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? This powerful image helps us understand how this practice gives us courage to face any challenge. Just as a lion's roar makes all other animals stop in their tracks, the sound of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can drive away our fears and doubts. But what exactly do these words mean? Let's break it down in a way that makes sense. Nam means to devote or dedicate oneself. Myoho represents the wonderful law of life, the way everything in the universe works together perfectly. Renge is the lotus flower, which blooms and makes seeds at the same time, showing how causes and effects happen together in life. Kyo means teaching or sound, the vibration that spreads this truth throughout the universe. The Lotus Sutra tells us about a man named Never Disparaging, who would bow to everyone he met and tell them, I respect you deeply, because you have the nature of Buddha within you. Some people got angry and threw stones at him, but he kept on showing respect to everyone. This story teaches us something important about Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. When we chant these words, we're recognizing the Buddha nature not just in ourselves, but in every single person. Think about dropping a pebble in a pond. The ripples spread out in perfect circles, touching everything in their path. That's what happens when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. The vibrations of our voice create invisible ripples of positive change that affect both ourselves and the world around us. As one ancient Buddhist text explains, the voice does the Buddha's work. Many people have experienced remarkable things through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Some have found the strength to overcome serious illness. Others have repaired broken relationships that seemed hopeless. Still others have discovered talents and abilities they never knew they had. These aren't miracles in the usual sense, they're natural results of tapping into our highest potential. A story from the Lotus Sutra tells of a poor man who had a precious jewel sewn into his robe but didn't know it was there. He struggled and suffered, not realizing he carried great wealth with him all along. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the friend who shows this poor man his hidden treasure. When we chant, we're awakening to the unlimited possibilities that have always existed within us. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, The moon is not apart from the waves, and the waves are not apart from the moon. In the same way, we're not separate from the mystic law of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, it's the very essence of our lives. When we chant, we're not calling on something outside ourselves. Instead, we're bringing forth our own highest nature, like polishing a mirror until it shines brightly. The practice is both simple and profound. You don't need special tools or training. You don't have to be particularly spiritual or religious. You don't even have to understand everything about it at first. As Nichiren taught, when you cast off your mental shackles, you will become aware of the depth of your own enlightened nature. Just by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with an open heart, you begin the process of revealing your highest potential. Some people wonder if they're chanting, correctly. But as long as you're sincere, there's no wrong way to do it. The important thing is to put your whole heart into the words. As one Buddhist master explained, the water that falls from the sky has no form, but it takes the shape of whatever vessel catches it. In the same way, the benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo flow naturally into your life in whatever way you need most. Many people notice small changes at first, feeling more energetic, sleeping better, or having a more positive outlook. Over time, deeper transformations begin to happen. It's like cleaning a very dusty room. At first, you might just clear a small space, but as you keep working, the whole room eventually becomes bright and beautiful. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo works the same way, gradually clearing away the dust, 
of negative thoughts and habits until our true nature shines through. The Lotus Sutra describes this true nature as being like pure gold that can't be destroyed. No matter how much mud covers gold, its precious nature remains unchanged. Similarly, our Buddha nature stays pure and perfect even when we're struggling with problems or feeling lost. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the tool that helps us clear away the mud and reveal our inner gold. One of the most beautiful things about this practice is how it spreads happiness to others. When we bring forth our Buddha nature through chanting, we naturally become more compassionate and wise. We start to see the Buddha nature in everyone around us, just like that wise man never disparaging. This changed perspective helps create harmony in our relationships and contributes to peace in the world. Nichiren wrote to a follower, Winter always turns to spring. This simple phrase captures the transformative power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. No matter how cold and dark things might seem, the spring of hope and renewal is always possible. Just as nature follows this pattern without fail, the law of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo works reliably in our lives when we align ourselves with it through chanting. Some people worry that they need to chant for hours to see results. But even a few minutes of sincere chanting can begin to shift our minds in a more positive direction. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, it doesn't matter how long the room was dark before, the light dispels the darkness instantly. Of course, continuing to chant regularly helps us maintain and deepen the positive changes in our lives. There's a famous story about a poor woman who lit a lamp in offering to the Buddha. Though she could only afford a tiny amount of oil, her sincere devotion made her small lamp burn more brightly and longer than all the fancy lamps offered by wealthy people. This story reminds us that it's not the quantity but the quality of our practice that matters most. A few minutes of heartfelt chanting can be more powerful than hours of mechanical repetition. The effects of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo often surprise people because they go beyond what we might expect. Someone might start chanting for help with a specific problem, like finding a new job. They might indeed find a good job, but they also discover newfound confidence, better relationships with co-workers, and a clearer sense of their life's purpose. This is because Nam Myoho Renge Kyo works at the deepest level of life itself, creating positive changes that ripple outward in all directions. As we continue this practice, we begin to understand what Nichiren meant when he wrote, the hand can touch nothing but turns it to gold. Our consistent chanting gradually transforms how we see ourselves and the world around us. Challenges that once seemed like obstacles become opportunities for growth. Relationships that felt difficult become chances to develop patience and wisdom. Even our mistakes and failures become valuable lessons that help us grow. The power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo isn't just about solving problems or getting what we want. It's about awakening to our highest potential and helping others do the same. When we chant these words, we're participating in the cosmic rhythm of life itself, adding our voice to a harmony that has echoed through the universe since time began. This is why people often say that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo feels both brand new and somehow familiar, it's connecting us to the deepest truth of our own lives. Remember those ripples in the pond? They never really stop, they just become too fine for our eyes to see. In the same way, Every time we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we're creating waves of positive change that continue spreading in ways we might never know. This is the real miracle of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It's power to transform not just our own lives, but to contribute to the happiness of all living beings. The beauty of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo lies in its universality. People from all walks of life, all cultures, and all belief systems can benefit from this practice. As Nichiren wrote, the pure lotus flower blooms in the muddy pond, yet remains untainted. Similarly, we can practice Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in the midst of our busy, modern lives and still experience its profound effects. Many people find that chanting helps them start their day with more energy and purpose. Just as the morning sun gradually lights up the sky, morning chanting brightens our outlook and sets a positive tone for the day ahead. Others prefer to chant in the evening, letting the rhythm of the words wash away their stress and worries like gentle waves cleaning the shore. The Lotus Sutra tells us about a dragon king's daughter who achieved enlightenment despite others saying it was impossible. 
This story reminds us that Nam Myoho Renge Kyo breaks through all artificial barriers and limitations. When we chant, we're declaring that anything is possible, regardless of what others might say or what our own doubts might whisper. Sometimes people ask why we need to chant these specific words. An ancient Buddhist text explains it this way. Words are the keys that unlock the storehouse of truth. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo isn't just a phrase, it's a key that unlocks our highest potential. The sound vibrations of these words resonate with the deepest law of life itself, like striking a tuning fork that helps us align with our true nature. Think about how a garden grows. You can't see the changes happening underground at first, but with consistent care and attention, sprouts eventually break through the soil, then leaves appear, and finally flowers bloom. Our practice of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo works in a similar way. Even when we can't see immediate results, positive changes are taking root in our lives. Nichiren taught that, the voice does the Buddha's work. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we're not just making sounds, we're actually performing the highest function of life itself. Each time we chant, we're helping to create harmony in our environment, just as each instrument in an orchestra contributes to the overall symphony. One of the most profound aspects of this practice is how it helps us transform suffering into wisdom. As one Buddhist text explains, the deeper the mud, the more beautiful the lotus that blooms from it. Our challenges and difficulties become the very soil from which our happiness grows. Through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we develop the ability to see our problems not as obstacles but as opportunities for growth. The changes that come through this practice are both subtle and dramatic. Sometimes it's like watching a sunrise, so gradual you hardly notice it happening, until suddenly you realize everything is bathed in light. Other times it's like a breakthrough moment when everything suddenly becomes clear, like clouds parting to reveal a brilliant blue sky that was there all along. Nichiren wrote to one of his followers, when you bow to a mirror, the reflection bows back to you. This simple image helps us understand how Nam Myoho Renge Kyo works. When we bring forth our highest nature through chanting, life naturally responds in kind. Good fortune isn't something that comes to us from outside, it's something we call forth from within through our dedicated practice. Many people report feeling a deep sense of connection when they chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It's as if they can feel their place in the great web of life, understanding that they're not separate from the universe but an essential part of it. This realization brings both comfort and courage, comfort in knowing we're never truly alone, and courage to face whatever challenges life presents. Just as a single candle can light countless other candles without diminishing its own flame, the benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo multiply as we share them with others. When we tell someone about this practice, we're offering them a key to their own happiness. Whether they choose to use it right away or not, we've planted a seed that may sprout when the time is right. The true miracle of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is that it reveals the miracles that already exist within our own lives. As Nichiren wrote, the heart of the Buddha exists in all people. Through this practice, we gradually awaken to this truth and help others do the same creating a ripple effect of positive change that extends far beyond what we can see.